Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. So Virgo, the messages that I put forth is going to be for the month of April. They are general, not every message is going to resonate. Just take what does and leave the rest. The energy can of course carry on beyond the month of April. This is for someone rising, Venus, North Node, as well as Jupiter. So definitely make sure to check your other placements as well. Um, your other placements could resonate more than your sun sign your sun sign may not even resonate at all so just to get a clearer picture spirit give me some energy for virgo for the month of april what is the energy messages for virgo for the month of april what's the energy spirit messages for virgo for the month of april What's the energy? Messages for Virgo for the month of April. What's the energy? Ooh, broken heart in the reverse. For some of you, you're going to be healing. Ooh, goddess of the moon in the reverse. So somebody is not like listening to their intuition. I'm hearing on site. It's on site. Something that has to do with some type of altercation, some type of disagreement. Um, let's go ahead and tap in further. Spirit, tell me why is broken heart here for Virgo? What's the energy? Why is broken heart here for Virgo? What's the message, Spirit? Why is broken heart here in the reverse? What's the energy? Why is broken heart here in the reverse? The three of pentacles. Something could be going on with somebody's job, somebody's employment. Somebody um, could be healing from some type of financial constraint. Somebody could be healing from work as well. There could have been, I'm hearing an accident, an incident. I'm hearing workplace firing. Um... For some of you, you're recovering from the loss of a job, the loss of income, the emperor. For some of you, you're starting something new. You could be starting your own business, becoming self-employed, Aries energy. Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here for Virgo? What's the energy? Somebody's boss is going to be looking at them. I'm hearing detail. Pay attention to detail. Make sure you're um, dotting your I's, crossing your T's. I feel like there's some type of recognition you're going to be receiving. So continue to keep up with the good work, your effort. Also be very punctual. The Ace of Cups. So for some of you, this has to do with a relationship, a divine union. Somebody may want to heal a connection with you. For some of you, I feel like this is somebody that didn't trust their intuition in the past. Why is the Three of Pentacles here for Virgo? What's the energy? Something could also have to do with the pregnancy and who fathered a child. The magician. Virgo, your energy as well as Gemini. Listen, somebody's manifesting a huge blessing here. I'm hearing clear cognizance. If that resonates with someone, if I'm even saying that correctly, but somebody is manifesting a, a major gift here. For some of you, this is um, a blessing when it comes to love relationships. For others of you, I feel like you're manifesting healing. Something has to do with your job, your career that is healing. That is, for some of you, you could be healers. I'm hearing natural born healers. For some of you too, you could be traveling, um, planning a trip. But something is just like your time. Like it's just your time. To, to be happy, to be free. Um, I'm hearing unencumbered. To have success, a victory, a win when it comes to your, your work life. Give me an energy for the Ace of Cups. Some of you too could be manifesting a pregnancy, a child. Something about the, thank you spirit, something about the time of the month is very significant for you. Something's very significant with the number five because I'm looking at the waterfalls. Give me an energy for... 
the ace of cups the king of cups somebody's emotions like overflows for you virgo or this could be your energy your emotions overflow for someone like you're in love or somebody's going to be falling in love with you virgo <laughs> Give me an energy for the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here for Virgo? What's the energy? Why is the Ace of Cups here for Virgo? What is the message? Something definitely has to do with the pregnancy though. Look at this. Listen, you're coming into union with your counterpart. That's what this is. Something's going to be very healing, like a healing connection. Somebody could also be healing from a pregnancy, from a childbirth. Give me an energy for the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here for Virgo? What's the energy? Why is the Queen of Cups here for Virgo? What is the energy spirit? Somebody's intuition is also going to be increasing. Ooh, the devil. Capricorn energy. So I feel like somebody's toxic. Somebody could be dealing like with a toxic baby mama. Or just a toxic feminine energy. For some of you, this feminine could be a water sign. I have water highly aspected. I feel like this is somebody, ooh, seven of cups to the seven of swords. For some of you, this is somebody that dabbles in like dark energy work. But this person is very manipulative. I'm hearing the conjuring. Give me an energy for the magician. Why is the magician here for Virgo? What's the energy? Capricorn energy on the devil. Why is the magician here for Virgo? The Queen of Pentacles. Somebody codependent. Virgo. For some of you, you're dealing with somebody that's codependent. For some of you, this person could be having like financial issues. I'm hearing broke. Somebody could be broke or going broke. But this is somebody that's needing you. I feel like somebody's trying to manifest you back into their life to heal the connection because they are financially strapped. They need you for resources. Give me an energy for the magician. And keep in mind, too, you know, April, we're going to be in retrograde, like, fully. Like, we're in the pre-shadow period now, but it's, like, April 1st. Like, we're fully in the retrograde. Give me an energy for the magician. So, like, just a lot of past energies. I have the fool in the reverse. Somebody's trying to keep you stuck with them. For some of you, this person's trying to use a child, a pregnancy, to keep you stuck. I feel like with the Three of Pentacles, somebody's planning to do this for some of you this person could be using other people somebody could have aquarius highly aspected why is the fool here in the reverse why is the fool here in the reverse for virgo what's the energy the nine of cups somebody um is doing a lot somebody's definitely dabbling in some energy work um Somebody's doing like way too much, even though it's upright, it's still giving me overindulgence. And it's like somebody's satisfied with the fact that they um, are able to keep you stuck with them. Like it's hard for you to break free from this person, but there could be, I'm hearing like mind control. There could be some manipulation, deceit, their lies, or somebody is actually playing in some spiritual work. Give me an energy for the emperor. Why is the emperor here for Virgo? What's the energy? Somebody may need to cleanse in the month of April. I have the two of cups because there's a divine union that you're meant to be a part of or that this person is meant to be in. For some of you, this could be going on with somebody that's energetically tied to you. But there's a karmic keeping you stuck with them. Um, it's like it's hard for you to detach from this person due to some type of manipulation, whether it's, you know, on the physical and the spiritual realm. And it's preventing you from connecting like with your true partner, your true soulmate. Give me an energy for the emperor. I feel like for some of you, you're meant to heal a connection elsewhere. Why is the emperor here for Virgo? What's the energy? Why is the emperor here for Virgo? I'm telling you, you're meant to be with somebody else. It's going to be a very successful relationship, a very abundant connection. It's like when you and this person, I'm hearing the Jubilee. When you and this person get together, there's going to be like a celebration in the heavens because this is like a spiritual contract. I feel like God is definitely overseeing this union. God is overseeing this entire situation. Give me an energy for the two of cups. Why is the two of cups here for Virgo? What's the energy? Why is the two of cups here for Virgo? What's the message spirit? Why is the two of cups here? What would you like for Virgo to know at this time? 
the six of swords. Somebody's being divinely guided towards their two of cups. Somebody is being like, I'm hearing horse and chariot. Somebody is being divinely guided away from like a karmic energy. For some of you, this could even be somebody that you're married to. But it's I'm hearing spouse. It's time to leave. Like this is toxic. Somebody just codependent. They just want to keep you around for you know their benefit or this person around. Clarifying um, the six of wands is the four of cups. Somebody don't want to see you like be happy with anyone else, celebrate anybody else, go public with anybody with anyone else. Somebody don't want anyone else to have their spot, and that's what it is. Give me an energy for the six of wands. Another message spirit. Give me another message for the six of wands. Messages for Virgo. The Ten of Cups. Somebody don't want to see you be happy. Somebody don't want to see you have your ten. And that's just what it is. They just don't want to see it. They want you to be with them. Um, I'm hearing wife. Give me an energy for Broken Heart. Why is Broken Heart here for Virgo? What's the energy? For some of you, this could be a group of people that's trying to sabotage this connection. You know, when you have spiritual relationships... Um, there's going to be attacks on, on the connections and that, that just comes with the territory because there's like a greater purpose for the relationship to begin with. Give me an energy for broken heart in the reverse. Why is broken heart in the reverse here for Virgo? What's the energy? There's definitely some spiritual manipulation going on here. Even though I'm hearing chanting, somebody could be saying something over and over again. You know, the power is in the tongue. You know, the things that you speak is what will manifest. Seven of Cups. I'm telling you, I'm hearing delusion. Somebody could actually be delusional. There could be like some type of mental um, health condition that this person has because they're playing in this um, spiritual world. But somebody is doing a lot, whether it's lies, whether it's actually manipulation when it comes to... Um, the 5D, the, the spiritual realm. But somebody's doing a lot to have you come back to them to heal a connection or to remain with them to heal a relationship. They don't want you to move forward, but it's kind of like, you know, it, it's this person against God, against the most high, because God is leading you away from a situation. I'm hearing door closed. So it's like the cycle is closed or it's closing because you got somewhere to be or this person does. Give me an energy for goddess of the moon. Somebody definitely don't have good intentions here. Heavy on a Pisces energy. Tell me more. Um, the number seven could be significant. 52, 25, 2 or 5. And what's on here? The number nine. I'm also getting the number three as well could be relevant. Why is goddess of the moon in the reverse here for Virgo? What's the energy? The eight of one. Somebody's speaking something. Somebody has bad intentions. Like I say, the power of the tongue. Somebody is using like their words. Like I said, could be chanting involved, but somebody's speaking something um, to keep you in place or to keep this person in place. Somebody's using their words, but whatever this person is saying, whether it's lies, is to keep someone put or to get someone to come back towards them. But whoever this person is, five of wands, five of swords to the king of wands, it's like... Somebody will be just dealing with someone who's very hateful, who's very argumentative, who likes to start drama. Give me a final message for Virgo. What's the energy? Somebody's also trying to do something like real fast. I feel like something has to do with time as well. Like this person, I'm hearing window, window of opportunity. So this person has like a certain time frame to get something done, but that's closing or it's closed. Give me a final message for Virgo. What is the energy? Give me a final message for Virgo. The Five of Cups. With the Six of Pentacles. I feel like it, this all started with a third party situation. I feel like somebody walked away here. For some of you, you could have walked away. This person could have walked away to give to someone else. Somebody could have been given to multiple people, Seven of Cups. And that's why this person is going to have to heal this Two of Cups relationship. Somebody um, didn't listen to their intuition, could have been listening to other people. But there is regret here. Somebody chose to have a new start somewhere else. And I feel like now something is difficult to get out of. Of. but for some of you it's part of this person's karma something that also has to do with belief system as well you and this person could not share the same belief system somebody could be more religious more spiritual and that could have been an issue for this person 
but somebody's in regret and i feel like it's either you or this other energy that is being um asked to walk away somebody wasn't receptive and now they regret it but look the three of cups has spilled over and you have the two of cups here so it's like that's what's remaining the two of cups this person's actual um spiritual connection that's what's going to be left standing not this third party situation not the three of cups the two of cups is what's going to be left standing in the end when it's all said and done somebody's just crying over spilled milk somebody wasted a lot of time i feel like somebody feels like it was all for nothing somebody could also live in the islands i'm hearing the virgin islands i'm also hearing jamaica or somebody could be from there but this is your reading virgo stay true to thyself and real with thyself grow with me as i grow with you somebody could also stay near a pond um san francisco so stay blessed